What's up guys, it is Ugly Shoe here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Path of Exile. Uh, I forgot which fucking part we're on, but anyway, there's a lot of things we wanted to do this video. We needed to make sure that we can take care of the normal labyrinth, which, looking at my health pool, the fact that I don't have a lot of leech, and the fact that I'm struggling with mana, I'm actually not sure if I'm going to be able to get through the normal labyrinth. I'm going to do the best I can, um, and I'm also not sure if the... So this is on poelab.com, and we'll give you the labyrinth for whatever layouts you might need. This fucking ads galore, and I apologize because I'm using this Microsoft Edge. God, it's not even letting me scroll down. So, I can sort of explain how the map works as we go, but I need to look over everything and make sure that we're actually okay to run it. I guess we'll go with the Worms Molt. It has a little bit of life, a little bit of mana leech. Our jewelry looks decent. I'm afraid to craft another mod on the amulet because as we can see it's a level item level 59 and if we craft another mod on it we're going to be way under level we're only level 35 um and it's going to have a level 59 mod so we have to be careful there everything else i think should be okay um how are we looking on resistances cold res is ass but i don't really think we have to worry about too much cold in the lab so let's go to the aspirants plaza and we'll go ahead and enter the lab. So, it has been a while since I've uploaded, and I apologize. I was spending what little time I had um, playing the Temporary League, which was Dell. There was a lot of content in it, and I unfortunately didn't want to go into Standard too much. So anyway, let's look at the current location versus the lab. So, if we look at these as almost like a square, we could say, okay, the exit is going to be in the top right corner. So we just have to really hug the top right part, so we're not going to go left, we're not going to go down, we're going to go right, and see if we can get there. We also have our Blasphemy Aura, which, or Vulnerability Aura, rather. I might want to turn off my, uh, what's it called, my loot filter. Let me, uh, change that, actually. I always have it on strict. Let's put that back to regular. And if this map is correct, if I'm not sure if the lab is the same in both the Temporary League and the Standard League. Those statues are always really tanky. But I'm not sure if Warlord's Mark will be better, because Warlord's Mark will allow us to leech life. Warlord's Mark is another curse. And I'm not sure if it's better than Vulnerability. Um, let me see if that matches. Oh, it might be. Okay. So, as you go, we're in the normal labyrinth now. The labyrinths get longer and more difficult as we go on. So, the Cruel Lab um, will have, like, two or three uh, instances before each Aspirant's Trial, which I'll show you now. Um, and then, they actually, it increases as you go on to Merciless and Uber Lab. The Aspirant's Trial is where we will face Azaro, and he has three stages. We are going to get him down at his first stage now. He hits really fucking hard. It's definitely a mechanical fight, and it's going to take a lot of practice. I'm actually not even very good with fighting him. We'll pop our ancestral protector. Yeah, that slam hurts a lot. We need flash charges. He does summon adds. Him. Uh, that minion is doing cold damage. That's bad. Okay, and once we get him down to a third of his, or once we knock down a third of his health, he'll disappear and can move on to the lab. And we'll be fighting him two more times. And it's like that in all of the labs. So, let's take a look. Yeah, this is looking like an accurate map. So, if we take a look, uh, top right corner is once again going to be the quickest way to the Aspirant's Trial. We really don't want to farm the normal lab. People will farm the endgame labyrinth, which is fine. But we don't want to really farm the normal lab. The rewards are not very good. A lot of the stuff we can pretty much skip. Like, there's a decorative chest in there, which will probably give us, like, another treasure key or something. But the treasure is just not good in normal labs, so we're going to... Trial. 
Normal lab, if you're prepared, you can get through it really quick. Strikes without hesitation. To entertain doubt is to dance with death. Some things that slumber should never be awoken. Yeah, I'm not hitting very hard. By the goddess, what ambition! It's fine. We don't need to kill him. Pity the emperor who sits alone on his throne. Our damage is actually not that great. I think we need to spec into more damage nodes right now. All right, and taking one more look at the map. So top right and then top right. So a lot of the times you don't even really need to use the POE map or the lab map. I like to use it sometimes, but mostly the layout is just go top right and you'll get to the exit. Very rarely is it anything else. Hey, look, a dead end. Uh, am I going the right way? Oh god, I'm gonna die. Are you kidding me? Why is that? Why did the fire do so much damage? I have 53 fire resistance. It's not terrible, but... Well, now that we know the route, we can run it again. Okay, looks like we're back to where we started. So let's try not to die here again. We have to like go where there's like no poison, arrows. This poison things hit fucking hard, but it's just like, I had to get away from the freaking uh, fucking poison, uh, or the fucking damaging floor. Thank you, I can't talk. I got my cat meowing at my door right now. Kitty, I'll be with you in a second. Please let this be the way out, for God's sake. Yeah, I think the main problem before why I died was because of my life pool. My fire resistance, it wasn't capped, and it definitely could have improved, but I shouldn't have died as quick as I did. That was nuts. This is where the labyrinth gets annoying, when there's just a lot of dead ends, and it's like, yeah, it's in the top right, but like, motherfucker, there's so many top rights. This is when you kind of just kill everything out of frustration. <laughs> God, thank you. All right, one second. Uh, I know, kitty. I'll let you know. Let's go. Good oh boy. Uh, he'll be back in. Okay. <laughs> what a nightmare! Why the fuck did I have to record today? Because it's my only fucking day to do that. That's right. Um, where are we? Top right. Okay. If I die this time around, we'll wait. <laughs> we will 100% wait until we're done with Act 4 and fully geared. 
I'll make sure my resistances are capped. There we go. Okay. An aspirant can afford to be promising. An emperor must keep the What jewel promises. is that? That's a primordial might! Dude, holy shit, hold on. That that dropped. It's probably not worth much because we're in standard. <laughs> There's not even one for sale in standard. Well, how much do they go for in the Temp League? Probably because no one's playing standard right now. Is there not a Primordial Might? No one playing right now apparently has a Primordial Might for sale. That's interesting. Can I go like online only? There we go. 35 chaos. We made our money. We could upgrade our fucking <laughs> character now. Um, we're going to sell that, boys. Um, let me check the price of it in standard. That's the best primordial gem. Basically, it's for golem builds. It's like a requirement in a golem build. Oh. Okay. So, 20 to 40 chaos. 55 chaos. So it ranges, but it's definitely worth some money. <laughs> okay. You must not I was off. In a way, I guess it worked out that we died because I got that in my, uh, what, in my second run. That's fucking awesome. Oh, I'm not running a Herald. No wonder my damage sucks. I just activated my Herald of Ashura. Oh my god. Kitty, no, and I got people messaging me in Steam. No. No, Kitty, no, get down, no! Oh my god, and I got people texting me. I'm going AFK from like everything. There we go. All right, we got three treasure keys. A brisk wrap, which brisk wrap is terrible, but. Oh my god, hold on. Kitty, get down! Okay, we beat Normal Lab. We got a nice, pricey item. Um, is there anything else? Let's grab the Shadow Axe. None of this other stuff is really gonna help us, so. It's fine. Let's go use our Before treasure keys. Your emperor, you are worthy. Before the goddess of justice, you are nice. worthy. Okay. Receive our blessings. Embrace Guys, don't expect anything good out of the labyrinth. I've never once this is gotten anything good in a labyrinth. That was the best drop I've ever gotten in the lab. Alright, can we pretend we have a premium tab? Pay to win, so that way I could sell that. Uh, we're in standard, so even if I sell it for like 30 chaos, I think I'm going to do it. Okay, I'm probably never going to use the layer cap, so I'm just going to sell that. That is not good at all. We have a really good axe, man. For now, at least. That's going to become obsolete once we hit, like, level 40, but still. All right. Um, also, one thing I could go over. In Labyrinth, um, at the end of every lab run, you get a use at the Divine Font. So, in the normal lab, we only get to use this. It's like an enchantment. It's like another mod. It happens at random. We're just going to add them to these gloves. And, uh, anyway... These divine fonts, they can be used once per lab run, and they can be applied to different items depending on the difficulty of lab you're running. Um, so in the normal lab, you can only use them on gloves. In cruel, you can use them on gloves and boots. In merciless, you can use them on gloves, boots, and helmets. And same with um, Uber Lab. Gloves, boots, and helmets can all roll different types of modifiers. Helmets are the most sought after because their modifiers consist of increased damage to specific skills. So I'll point it out once we run the later lab labyrinths, but if we go in and we use the enchantment on our helmet, we can get the mod that will tell us, you know, 25 or 40 percent increased damage with blade flurry or 40 percent increased damage with tornado shot these items are very very sought after so i'd recommend using them on um more popular helmets such as star conscious hood um what else uh, rat's nest is another good one abyssus they're different unique type of uh items that i'm talking about so i can point them out here um so this is star conjas um 
See, a Devoto's Devotion is another one. This one actually has an enchantment. You can see it's not very good. But um, anyway, yeah, there are certain sought-after mods that you might want to try applying to specific pieces of gear, mostly just helmets, um, because they can roll the best modifiers. Most important is the Altar of Ascendancy, because this is where we get to choose if we are Slayer, Gladiator, or Champion. I think we were Slayer? Yes, in this Ascendancy, we are going... <laughs> in this build, we are going Slayer. Um, so we'll go ahead and choose the Slayer. No judge, we'll ascend. No jury, just the and I get a full passive reset? Oh, because it's been so long since I played and they probably restructured the tree. Anyway, each labyrinth we run, um, we will get two ascendancy points. So we get two for normal, two for cruel, two for merciless, and two for uber. So we get a total of eight points. So we have to run four labyrinths on each character that we build in order to maximize the ascendancy. What is better? Headsman, 20% more damage if you killed recently, 20% increased area of effect if you killed recently. That's really good. Overkill damage has leached his life. That's probably better for endgame, so we are going to go for headsman. Yep, that's fine. And let me just check to see if anything changed in the tree. I guess we don't really need attack speed. I could refund that. Why did I take that? We don't need attack speed with Cyclone. There's my mana leech, but we're going to unspec from that. Probably grab these points here. Gonna want some life leech after. Crimson Dance will pick up once we start getting bleed. Once we start specking into some bleed, we'll grab that. We're gonna need a lot of bleed to make that worth it. Same with blood magic, we're gonna need a lot of life to make it worth it. Okay, so. I think that is everything for the lab, so we'll go ahead and return to town. And we have ascended, boys and girls. I need a break to gather myself because I am going crazy with all of the people messaging me and shit like that. This is why I don't... And we're back. Okay, so we have a blank premium tab that I was able to free up that we're just going to throw over here. And we're just going to call this LP with a dollar sign. And we'll leave it purple as well. Saying that... Okay, so basically, if you have premium stash tabs, this is how they work and this is how you sell items. So basically, if I go in, if I right-click it, I give it a name mark it as public, and then I have a couple different options on what I want to do. I can just bulk sell everything in here, so I could say everything in that I put in this tab is going to be one exalted orb, or something like that. What I'm going to do is uh, just individually price everything, so we'll just keep this as is. We'll just name this LP dollar sign, we'll keep it purple, and we'll save. Um, that primordial jewel, I put it over here. We can sell this, and if we put it in this public tab, all we have to do is right-click it. We'll go to negotiable price or exact price, or do not index if we just don't want to mark it as sellable. Um, we'll mark this as a negotiable price of, we'll say 35 chaos, if we want someone to bite soon. That's sort of the price for it that was in Delve. The rest of these will try. We actually hit more than 20 alterations. Maybe I'll take this and I'll try to roll a, uh... Okay, I'll try to roll adrenaline on these. Where are, I'll just take both of those augments. Ample Quicksilver Flask of Adrenaline is what we need. That's what we're going for. Are we gonna get it? Probably not. As long as we have the open suffix, I'll roll it. Not looking too great here, boys. I'm not having a very good day. <laughs> uh, I, how much more alteration crafting am I really doing, though? Ugh. Fuck this game, man. All, right, all my alterations are gone. Just like that. I'm running out of wisdom scrolls. Use the recipe. Grab some more. We can sell blacksmith's whetstones and orbs exile. of transmutation. For a good amount of uh, wisdom scrolls. I don't remember if I pointed that out yet. Um, but anyway. Let's go to the dried lake and let's go get our banner from Vol. 
Dried Lake is a really good place to farm. Um, I know I said that about the Aqueducts, or not the Aqueducts, wherever the fuck we were before. Ch uh, channel, whatever we were. No, it was the Aqueduct. Um, that's a good place to farm for the Divination card, but the layout kind of sucks. This place has just a wide open layout, so it's really good if you have decent movement speed, attack speed, and all that. It's really good to just jump in here and clear out packs if you're really behind on XP. Um, it might be good to just farm here for a few levels. I can't believe I fucking died in the lab. But it worked out because it made me a potential 35k. Which is 35 times the amount of currency that we currently have. <laughs> oh man. Hello, Vault. He's the boss of this area. He does a nice little slam. Very, very similar to. It seemed to um, me, Izaro in the lab. That I just did you a favor. All right. So we could just go back, but I like this area, so we're gonna farm it a little bit. Die rather well. Actually, I saw a corrupted area. I think maybe I grabbed the attack speed because of my leap slam in the skill tree. It all kind of makes sense. So the story about Azaro in the lab is actually kind of cool. The lore for it is pretty dope. The labyrinth was built by Azaro um, to pretty much say, uh, you know, whoever can beat this labyrinth will be the next emperor. Because Emperor Azaro, um, you know, his bloodline just consisted of a ton of incest. So because he's so fucking inbred, he can't have kids. Someone needs to take his, his seat as Emperor when he dies. And he is related to Corandus somehow. Corandus is another NPC, which we sometimes encounter in this game. I'll go over that one another time. He was a, a League highlight NPC for one. Where the fuck is the... This is the longest corrupted area I've ever been in. Vol Blade Vortex and Vol Lightning Trap. Vol Blade Vortex is good. If we ever want to run a Blade Vortex build. I think I already have like 14 of them, but you know. I really want to buff my Ancestral Protector. I want to link it with um, a green skill, or a green slot, so that way I can put Culling Strike on it. I've explained Culling Strike before. It's when a monster has 10% or less health, it kills it instantly. If I can link it with that, he'd be awesome to finish off a boss. I'm just going to portal back because we already killed everything here. I forgot I have those really cool portal effects. Until next time. Um, who wanted the oh yeah, the banner is used to open the mines. And then we go up here and talk to Oyun. The gate is And they'll give us a golem. Hey, speaking of golems. Um well, which golem is gonna be best for us? Probably flame golem. We can't crit. Um, so there's no point in getting a nice golem. Um, Lightning Golem gives us more attack speed. Might be good. Just for the Leap Slam, though. We don't need it for anything else. It's not worth taking a Golem just for Leap Slam. Um, Stone Golem gives us Life Regen, which is pretty good. 
Flame Golem gives us increased damage. Every little bit helps. Um, what was Abyssal Cry? I totally forgot what Abyssal Cry does. Oh, it makes shit explode. That's kind of cool, but I think my clear speed is fine. I'm going to go with Flame Golem. And I'll put it on wherever I have room. Not at the moment. Um, where were we going? I was going for these nodes here, I believe. Yeah, we'll grab these. Back here. And we'll clean this up. I'm actually get why am I getting so many unique item drops? I feel like when I was yes. first playing this game, I got like nothing. Chevron's pace. I might put him on just because it's movement speed. And more movement speed when I'm on full life. What do I lose out on? My leaf slam. I'll hang on to him for now. I'm watching you. Maybe I'll switch out when I have more chromatics or something, and if I'm really struggling on finding um, new boots. Alright. Let's go into the mines. There's nothing like making a ground shaking entrance. Ha. Uh. Fuck it, I'll take fire trap, whatever. So I wish we had a little more attack speed. Should probably start upgrading my flask. I feel like my life flasks weren't doing anything. And I'm unsure as to why. When I was in that fight with Azaro, I was like spamming my flask, and it was like, ah, we'll refill your HP while we can, when we feel like it. There's no real layout to these fucking places, though, just like go to the back. Just kinda gotta get lucky. Layout for these places blows. So we are in monster level 35 and we're level 36. Okay. So we're not flying past all the game's content. Want to make sure we weren't under leveled for the zones. Actually, I'm really not sure I like the sound of that. So in the level two of the mines. There's that side quest here that I forgot to pick up from Tasuni. He's the guy that handles the divination cards. Whoa, we got him. Back in town. And he'll give us a quest to free the spirit of Notre here. Guarded by Always another boss who does spectral throw. Distress. He's not too bad. It's actually a lot tankier than I remember him being, but his build is also becoming completely ass cheeks. I really hope this build picks up because I might want to respect to something else. Oh, and hey guys, remember everything I told you about the Forsaken Masters, about these guys? Yeah, scratch it, because it's all getting reworked next league. And we're probably never going to see Tora in again, so I'm not even going to fucking bother. It's really cool what they're doing with the next temporary league. They're re come on, another fucking dead end, my ass. Yeah, they're redoing all of the uh, the reworking the Forsaken Masters, so we don't have to grind them as much. I don't remember if I pointed out how much of a fucking grind fest it was, but yeah, they're finally doing away with that. having a hard time. Not a good way to end this tale of mine. 
figuring out that I died in fucking normal lab. Never died in normal lab. I normally die in cruel lab, I will 100% admit that. The lab that we'll be doing, probably by the time we get to like Act 7, Act 8, I die in all the fucking time. I don't know what it is, I think I just run it way too early. And I'm unprepared and Izara kills me in the fucking time. We'll kill the burning man over here. Yeah, get out of that, because if you stand where his body self-destructs, it's like insta-kill. I don't know if uh, if it's actually insta-kill or if you could just survive it with highlight pool, but I've died a countless amount of times when I first started playing because I was unaware. I think he actually killed me in a hardcore league before. How embarrassing is that? All right, so we got our waypoint. Let's just talk to Diala to grab our quest. You know. And uh, I a guy from the, guy. the fuck was that? That had to have been this. Oh, you know what? There's a server outage earlier. I'm wondering if the trade platform is down right now. What can we do for you? Go. Yeah, it is. I saw that. Get out of here. It's a good shield, but I don't have a free hand right now, so. So, anyway. Let's turn that quest in and let's grab a few more passives. I'm going to need more damage. That one's going to be nice. Might want to just grab this whole node, this whole cluster. Why did I only grab one side in the passive tree? Not sure, but we'll definitely want to grab both of those. Okay. And we also got some refund points. So if I want to refund that attack speed and go for that, we might as well. It's only 4% increased attack speed. It's not really worth the one point, in my opinion. So we'll just grab that. Um, and I don't know if I want to move on because I kind of want to get the rest of this act done in one video because this is all sort of linked. So I'm going to hold off. We're going to stop there. Um, this is a quick video, definitely compared to my other ones. In the next video, I might want to see what I can upgrade for my gear because I feel like my clear speed is not as great as it should be. My boss killing could also be a little bit better. So I might want to incorporate a little bit more single target into the build and, um, probably just capitalize on, you know, whatever sockets I could get. I'm going to try to four link um, all of my items at least and possibly push out a little bit more damage with everything. So uh, and then after that, we'll be able to take on uh, Kaum in uh, whatever area he's at. What is that called? It's not marked. He's in a place. He's a guy. We'll talk to him later. And then, <laughs> and then uh, Dereso, who's the, uh, the King of Swords, um, once we encounter them, we'll probably be able to finish up Act 4 in the same video. So uh, we're going to hold off on doing anything else. Um, and that's it, guys. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.